Open letter to Nigeria government. Uh, please uh, take this letter in a good fit. Because we are all one Africa. And if Nigeria change, the whole entire Africa has changed. In concerning of changing your education system from bookish to a practical field. Because you check the number of Nigeria, if majority of them are plumbers, the majority of them are carpenters, majority of them are mason, Nigeria government can uh, export majority of them from there to a different place, which the crime rate of everywhere Nigeria people will go, all those things will be a thing of the past. We have been following our colonial masters for a very, very long time. And although those people we are following them, they are rather changing their education system. But we have forgotten that uh, instead of us to uh, change our education system to our system in which it will even build our economy our country, our continent, we are still following our corona masters, people who came and took our property, our people in a uh, years ago. We are still following them with this uh, corona mentality. Please, I am urging to you to change your educational system to vocation and technical. Because if you check years ago, Germany was also the same like bookish, but now they have changed their educational system into a vocation and a technical. And now you can see that uh, Germany and other European countries see the way we Africans, we are trying to even to move there because now they are wise. They are not reading book like um, uh, uh, you see somebody reading book, speaking good English means the person is intelligent. Whilst after that, the same person will be thinking of going to buy food from a common a farmer. You see, we are not wise. We don't think well. So, this letter to Nigeria government to change their education system from vocation to a technical. Uh, please, if you don't know how to do it, you come and learn it from Ghanaians. Because about three years, four years ago, the Ghana government had attached vocation and technical uh, education into their secondary education. So people from the, the basic school into the second psychic school, you can choose any of the courses from the basic school into the second cycle. So you can decide to take a problem into second cycle. You can decide to take carpentry into second cycle. You can decide to take any course that is suited and then you love into second cycle all those things that we need to sit down and then think and think well as an african because we can never continue to be in other people's country and then because of that and because of some nigerians some of them their behaviors those behaviors will also affect other people who are also good because their leaders are not proactive their leaders always think about themselves their leaders don't think ahead let's take this proverb if a father is a foolish man don't think all his children will be foolish one day one of his children will rise up and tell his father that father you are a foolish man let's do it like this so now we the youth of africa has stand up and then now we are awake on top of you the politicians especially the nigerians you and on top of you those leaders you call yourself leaders politicians now we are on top of you please 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 stand up 
change your educational system. If you don't know how to do it, don't feel shy. Come to Ghana. Ghana can assist you in all these things. Ghana have started it and it is now it's now working well after some of them. Now, after your secondary education, whether carpentry or medicine or electrician or apply electricity, you can travel outside because now you are a professional and you yourself can go and open a shop on your own. So this one is an open letter to Nigeria government and please take it in a good faith because your youth are suffering. Your youth are traveling to a different place and always because of some of them, their attitude, nobody uh, or people don't want to even to associate themselves with Nigerians again because they think Nigerians are bad. But Nigeria's youth are not bad, but their leaders, some of their leaders are very very wicked because they are not thinking outside the box but they are still thinking on their colonial mentality thank you very much for accepting this letter to nigeria government